to our other big story. It's been two weeks since the first case of the novel coronavirus made its way to the U.S. A man from Washington State diagnosed after a trip to China. The virus, which originated in Wuhan, China, has already spread to more than two dozen countries. Scientists say unlike SARS and MERS, which are also strains of coronavirus, this strain is uh, from Wuhan and spreading more like the flu. Right now, the CDC has tested 260 people here in the U.S. 11 cases have been confirmed. Arizona hoping to speed up the process when it comes to testing patients. And tonight we're going inside where Arizona scientists are right there on the front lines of the coronavirus outbreak. Our cameras allowed inside a facility in Flagstaff where a test for the virus is in the works. ABC 15's Nicole Grigg with the timeline to get this done. Scientists inside TGen North taking us inside their Flagstaff lab. They're using supercomputers as their secret sauce to break the code of this new strain of coronavirus. It's a computer, it's a camera. The coronavirus is made up of letters, just like our DNA. It's about uh, 20,000 letters long. And they have to know these letters to find the blueprint of the virus so they can create a test. That genetic code um, tells us everything we need to know. It tells us all the secrets of that organism. It tells us, is it changing? It tells us what's going on. How is that virus able to get into human cells? Right now, only the CDC can test for the newest strain of coronavirus from China. So scientists here and across the country working to crack the code. And when they do, they'll have a test that doctors and hospitals can use everywhere. Here's something you may not know, SARS and MERS, those are types of coronaviruses and the labs here also worked to develop tests on those as well. But the big question is when will they have a test ready and approved? When it's an emergency like this, what they try to shorten that down is down to months and maybe even weeks in order to get the go through the approval process at the FDA. Coronavirus is spread like a common cold, so sneezing and coughing, and so the best way to treat it is also like treating the common cold. Reporting in Flagstaff, Nicole Grigg, ABC 15, Arizona.